I wanted to talk about why you shouldn't buy hardware you can't afford. I know everyone's going to want to come for my head. This is going to get downvoted like crazy. Um, but stick, stick with me. I got, I, I got, I got something good here for you because it's, you know, I, I get everybody wants to have the best stuff and everybody deserves the best stuff. And, but hear me out. I've got a good case to make. So I'm going to use once again, a similar story to my last video. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so I went out and I bought on pretty close to release day. I think it might've been release day. I can't remember. It was pretty close to release day though. Uh, I bought the 9900K, uh, which at the time I believe MSRP at 650. I bought a um, an MSI Z390 Godlike, which I believe also MSRP'd at either 650 or 699. And I bought, I believe if I remember right, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, which at the time I believe was somewhere in the neighborhood of $200. Okay, so I think I added that up. You're looking at something, what is that? You're looking, uh, let's say seven, let's, let's be generous. Let's say 650 board, 650 chip, so you're at 13. And then uh, 14, 15 before tax, 10% tax in my area. You're looking, what is that? 15, 16, 16, 50, something like 16, 50, 1700 dollars for just a board chip and RAM. Technically, I had the money for it. I couldn't really afford it though, and so um, that had some side effects. It was awesome. It was the coolest system I'd ever built. Um, at the time, I reused my um, my 1080 Ti, which in 2018. Uh, the 2080 Ti was a terrible value at the time. The, the 1080 Ti was still a good match. So I, uh, I reused the 1080 Ti. Well, the problem with that was that it prevented me from upgrading. So what happened was, since I spent all of that money, when, when 10th gen came out and was an okay boost, I didn't buy it. When 11th gen came out, didn't buy it. 12th gen came out, didn't buy it. Um... And so when I eventually ended up with my 3080 in 2020, um, I, uh, I, I didn't upgrade then because I had spent so much money on the 9900K and it basically, it basically, it didn't kill my 3080, but it, it knocked off a solid amount of performance that I would have gained had I had enough money to be able to buy a, uh, uh, like a, either a 10.9 or even preferably a 12.900. Well, no, I guess the 12.900K didn't come out until uh, 2021, I think, um, or even 2022. But the uh, the 10.900K or even 11.900K would have been a decent upgrade and would have given me a solid additional boost of performance over what I was getting for uh, with the 9900K paired with the 3080. The only reason I did not make that upgrade was because I had spent way more money than I actually had on the uh, on the um, the 9900K board chip and RAM combo. Had I not done that, I would have probably so I probably would have ended up buying like a 9700K on a gen like I think I think 9700K was like 354 something like that. So we would have been at 400 for the chip maybe 180, maybe 200, and probably under 200 for a mid-range board at the time. So let's say 200 for the board, so you're at, you're at 600. And then, uh, and then let's say I'd gone 16 gigs DDR4 for 100 bucks uh, ish. Uh, we would have been looking at approximately half what I spent on the, um, uh, on the, on the, the 9900K board chip and RAM combo. And I would have been way faster to jump on a board chip and RAM upgrade, which I didn't end up doing until uh, 2022. So the moral of the story is, um, if you don't really have the money and you're really, really, really pushing your budget, buy the upper mid-range instead. Because by the time you actually need all of that performance, chances are something better is gonna be out anyway. And, and you're going to keep yourself from being able to get the capabilities of that better thing, maybe at its own upper mid-range, you know, uh, which will be better than what you've got right now and better than what you would have had. I mean, uh, a, a, to give you an example, the 12, 12, 5, or 12, 600K, I'm pretty sure is faster than a 9900K in almost all stuff. In fact, everything I've read is that in many cases, you're better off with a 12, 100F than you are with a 9900K. 
because um, 12th gen was just such a massive leap. So yeah, in, in many cases, you're going to be better off just go with the upper mid-range instead of trying to push your budget to get the absolute best today. To, 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 to put it in the simplest terms, if you buy the absolute best today, you're, there's a good chance if you don't really have the money for it, I mean, assuming your budget, you know, assuming your, um, your financial situation stays approximately the same, what you're really going to be doing is denying yourself. So, so you, let's say you buy the absolute best today, you're going to deny yourself, you know, close to the best for maybe as many as the next one or two purchase cycles that you do. Whereas you could have just bought a little bit less and in the long run, you would have had more as they say. Less is more, right? So don't skewer me for telling you you shouldn't buy the best. Buy the best. If you can if you can afford that stuff, if you can afford a 4090, I'm not gonna be one of those a-holes that tells you, oh, it's not worth it. No, no, no. The 4090 is worth it. If you can afford a 4090, that card's totally worth it. Um, if you can afford it. Um, but uh, but anyway, thanks for watching and uh see you on the next one.